Hey, it's me, Jonathan, standing outside of Building 11 on the Coco campus. Now on this campus, Building 11 is the admissions office. But don't worry, Melbourne, Titusville, and Palm Bay have similar offices to this one dedicated to helping the student get enrolled and answering any questions we may have about the admissions process. So what do you say we go inside, put them to the test, see how good they truly are. Come on. All right, so I'm ready for my appointment inside of the admissions office here in Building 11 on the Coco campus with Aaron Papadias. Aaron, you are here to answer any and all questions anyone may have about the admissions process, right? That's right, you got it. You ready for step one? Yes, I am. What do we do? Well, the first step to becoming a student is to submit your new student application. And you can do that at the campus, but it's a lot faster to submit it online. Of course, they're already online. That's right. Do it now. What's after that? The second step is to submit your residency affidavit. Bring that to the admissions office and remember to bring all supporting documentation. Which we have a list online to tell you exactly what you need to bring in. That way you don't have to make, you know, multiple trips. That's right. The next step is to submit your final high school transcript. And you can also bring in your GED. The step after that is to take the placement test. And to take the placement test, you can either call the main line and we can schedule an appointment for you, or you can come to the campus to schedule an appointment. Some students have taken SATs and ACTs in high school. If you have taken the SAT or ACT, just remember to call your high school and they can mail us your scores. And that way you won't have to take it again. That's right. Excellent. Are there any other steps that we're forgetting or is that everything? There's one more step. Take the new student orientation and then you can register for classes. Absolutely. And let me tell you from personal experience, the orientation can be a lot of fun. You get free frisbees, free pens and pencils. They even throw out those little stress balls. Yes, they but do. But you're not going to need those because this whole process is uh, stress free. Just make sure you come in early and bring all the documents that you need. What are you waiting for? Get over here, get online. We'll see you around the campus.